As a psychology student or practitioner, you'll most likely need to find information about psychological tests and measures at some point in your career. In particular, you may have a specific population or topic that you're researching and you'll need to identify an appropriate research instrument to use. Or you may have a particular psychological test or measure in mind and you want to see how it has been used by other researchers. In this video, you'll learn how to use the Test and Measures field in APA PsycInfo to accomplish both goals. While I'll use APA PsycInfo on the APA PsycNet platform, the strategies introduced are applicable for any version of APA PsycInfo. Let's explore using this feature with a sample research scenario. Let's say you're interested in researching more about strategies for helping those with brain injuries develop self-advocacy skills. With your topic in hand, you need help identifying an appropriate test or measure to use for your study. In APA PsycInfo, use the advanced search page to develop your search. I'll type brain and then I-N-J-U-R with an asterisk and self-advocacy in the first search box. Notice that I'm putting an asterisk at the end of the R in injury to find results that use injury or injuries. I'm also using quotes around self-advocacy so that PsycInfo searches this concept as a phrase. In the next box, I'll simply type an asterisk. Then I'll click on the arrow next to any field and select test and measures. By typing an asterisk in the search box, I'm telling APA PsychNet to look for any APA PsychInfo items that have information in the test and measures section. When I hit search, the results that appear are citations to articles, books, and other research documents on my topic where authors indicate that they've used a test or measure in their study. To see which tests or measures they use, click on the title of a result and go into the detailed information page. For my example, I'm going to click on the first result, Improving Personal Self-Advocacy Skills for Individuals with Brain Injury. Scroll down to the Tests and Measures section, and you'll see a list of research instruments that were used. When there's a DOI link next to an individual test, clicking on it will send you directly to the detailed summary page in APA Psych Tests. Even if you don't have access to APA Psych Tests, you'll be able to view the information on this page. Now let's shift gears just a bit and use the test and measures field one more time to meet a different information need. What if you're at a point where you've already identified a psychological test or measure, like the self-advocacy scale, and you want to see how others have used it in their research? In this instance, I'll go back to the advanced search page on APA PsycInfo and type the full name of the scale in the search box. Notice that I'm using quotes to ensure that APA PsycInfo searches for the words as a phrase. Just like before, I'll click on the arrow next to any field and select Test and Measures. The results page will show citations to journal articles, books, or other research documents in APA PsycInfo, where authors have mentioned the self-advocacy scale. Let's click on the title of the fourth result to see the detailed information page for this article. Scrolling down to the Test and Measures section, I can confirm that this questionnaire appears in the article. Again, if I wanted to switch to Psych Test at this point, I can do so by clicking on the DOI link. Occasionally, you may see the word Appended in the Test and Measures field. This word lets you know that the article that you're looking at includes the test in its entirety, usually as an appendix at the end of the article. If you're able to open the full text of an article, check Tables, Figures, Appendices, and the Methodology section for the full list of test questions. When possible, these appended tests also appear in the APA Psych Test Database. If you only want to find articles with full text, you can search for Appended in the Test and Measures field in APA Psych Info. So, if I typed in a search on brain injury, I could include the word appended in the second box to find studies where the tests and measures that were used are published in the studies. In summary, APA PsycInfo's Test and Measures field allows you to find articles where authors mention using a test or measure. This can be a powerful technique for identifying tests or measures or seeing how tests or measures are used in research.
Thanks for watching. For more tips and strategies, please see our YouTube channel or visit the APA website.